Under normal conditions, oils and fats do not dissolve in water. So if you try to um, mix vegetable oil and water, what you would find is that the water would sink to the bottom and the uh, oil would sit on top of it because it is less dense. So when two uh, substances do this and they don't mix, uh, we say that they are immiscible. And I think of this word as being like unmixable, immiscible. It means they do not mix together. However, sometimes we can force the oil to dissolve in the water. And to do this, we have to turn the oil droplets into extremely tiny, um, tiny droplets that will disperse and mix up with the oil. Um, so, for example, in things like um, mayonnaise, you've got uh, fats dissolved, uh, mixed up with water. In things like um, chocolate, even things like uh, makeup and face creams, and even in milk. So in milk you've got uh, fat protein molecules that are dispersed mixed up with water, um, and these are all examples of times we've got fats and oils, uh, fat, sorry, oils and water mixed together. These are all examples of emulsions. Okay, so how do we actually do this? Because if you were to just shake up oil and water over time, they would separate. So what you actually need, what all of these things have in common, is they all contain something called an, an emulsifier. And so emulsifiers are molecules, are chemicals that allow waters and oils to mix together. They cause them to be able to uh, become miscible or mix up. And they look a little bit like this. They've got a, a part at the front, which is charged. It could either be positive or negative, and they have some form of tail. And the head part is, we said it's charged. And we call this the hydrophilic end, which means water seeking or water loving. And then we have the other end, which is non-charged, and this is called hydrophobic. Which means water-hating. Or another way to think about it is oil-seeking. So what happens... Let's draw a box over here where we're going to explain this. Um, what happens is we have a droplet of oil, or we have some uh, oil, and lots of these emulsifier molecules seek out this droplet of oil. And the hydrophobic end, the, what, the end that wants to go away from the water towards the oil, okay, will stick into and be attracted to this droplet of oil. And on the end of this, we've got our hydrophilic end with a positive charge, which will uh, stick into the water. So this tiny droplet of oil will be surrounded by, um, be surrounded by water. And since all of these uh, hydrophilic heads have got a positive charge, they're going to repel every other droplet of oil. So now in your um, in your water, you'll have lots of little droplets of oil. Which have... Um, ...been separated by these emulsifier molecules. And remember, it is the positively charged hydrophilic heads which are repelling and causing these oil droplets to separate. And this would lead to an emulsion forming. You do need to know these words, hydrophobic, hydrophilic. So have a little practice, but it does come from the mark scheme. You explicitly have to say those, uh, be able to correctly use those two words to get full marks.